Hello, my name is Andres Alvarez. I've been working on a website that automatically calculates the uh, win score for players using the wagesofwins.com uh, formula. You can uh, find all the, the exact formula at stumblingonwins.com under calculating win score. Uh, so anyway, uh, Dr. David Berry and crew have to go out, download data, and by hand kind of figure everything out. And I thought it'd be cool to get a site up that would do this automatically and I'm looking to host this publicly uh, so you'll be able to just go through the stats on your own without having to wait for um, the brilliant people at the Wages of Wins Journal to get it uh, figured out for you. And so I was just going to give a quick demo and uh, show things how, how they are. So I've got the 2010 season uh, back up to about 2005 currently. Uh, just an explanation. It's important that the players on each team, the number of minutes per player on each team is allocated so that each position has the same number of minutes, being point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Um, I download all my data from basketballreference.com, and this only has three positions, being guard, center, and uh, forward. And so I have this thing automatically figure out uh, a player's position based off, first off, if they're assigned a guard as guard, forward, or center, and then for forwards and centers, if I, I need to reallocate minutes, I'll go based on height. Uh, so here's an, an interesting thing. You'll notice on the New York Knicks that uh, David Lee is actually listed as a small forward about half the time. And uh, that reason is, is he's actually uh, not even close to the tallest player on the Knicks. And the second part about minutes is I allocate point guards and guard, and, and uh shooting guards based on assists per minute. So here Dwayne Wade, who's uh, known as a shooting guard, is a 100% point guard uh, because of his assists. So I'd be, I'd be happy to hear um, any inputs on uh, how to maybe improve those, but I, I think they work pretty well so far. So just some uh, things that you may have seen already is um, MVP. Uh, we'll see LeBron James is at the top. Some surprises for uh, people that uh, aren't Wages of Wins readers might be here that David Lee, uh, Gerald Wallace, uh, and Josh Smith are very high near the top. Also for uh, LA fans who really like Kobe, we'll notice Pau Gasol and uh, Lamar Odom are, are higher. You can also show only rookies, and so here we'll notice that the Rookie of the Year, in my opinion, or at least according to, uh, to my configuration of positions, is Joan Blair. Uh, part of that's because part of the time he's considered a small forward. Uh, he's actually pretty short for a power forward. And then so um, another funny one is if I just go to the guards, you'll notice that uh, include all. If I go to guards, you'll notice that Jason Kidd and Steve Nash are top five in guards, and uh, they're a million years old. And so finally, I just wanted one more funny thing, which is if you go to... Uh, the best wins per 48 minute for rookies, Trey Gilder wins. And if you go for uh, all, all players in the league, Trey Gilder wins again. So I, I'd say he's your MVP and Rookie of the Year. Uh, just ignore the fact that he only played five minutes. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it.